In the Canon ecosystem, there are two sensor sizes you can choose from, full frame and APS-C sized cameras. But which one is better for you? Let's have a look at the overall pros and cons. First up, full frame cameras are far better in a low light environment. That's because full frame cameras physically have a larger sensor, which means they can gather more light, making them better in a low light environment. As well, full frame cameras usually have more lens choices than their APS-C counterparts. There's around 40 lenses to choose from in full frame, but there's only around 15 to choose from in APS-C, and that's usually the case across most camera brands. But full frame cameras are usually far more expensive than APS-C cameras, so if you do want to save some money, I'd recommend buying APS-C. As well, full frame cameras are usually larger and heavier than APS-C cameras, so if you are a travel photographer, it might be worth investing in APS-C. Whereas APS-C cameras are usually cheaper, not in all cases, but most cases, APS-C cameras can save you a significant amount of money. As well, APS-C cameras also have a crop factor. In Canon, is 1.6 times. So if you're a sports or wildlife photographer, you can actually get 1.6 times closer to the action in an APS-C camera versus full frame. But that crop factor can also be a negative. Again, if you don't want to shoot wide angle, it's okay. But if you do, the crop factor could be a major disadvantage. Plus, because it is a smaller sensor, it's not going to be as good in a low light environment. That is when I would buy full frame. So as you can see, there are pros and cons to both. So which one would you buy?